Hello. It is Monday. So, I had a really great weekend. We had that tea party for the little girls on Saturday. I was too tired to talk to the camera that day, so you just got a little video of me opening the yarn. And then yesterday, Sunday, I think all I did was take a video of like my coffee cup in the morning and that's like it. Like I just didn't really take much video of anything that day. So I had church, we went out to lunch with my folks to the Chinese buffet <laughs> and um, my sister Kelsey and her family came too. And then that night I went with some friends to a Christmas worship service at their church so that was fun and I forgot my phone there <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> so I was without my phone for the most part of this day but thankfully my friend who was very kind and gracious went and got my phone for me since I had to work so I can't believe I did that I don't think I've ever forgotten my phone anywhere oh <sighs> so dumb but at least I didn't drop it in the toilet because that's the reason it got forgot in the bathroom is because I took it out of my pocket so that I wouldn't drop it in the toilet <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that but all that to say it was an eventful weekend but a really fun weekend really great weekend so I did not even open my yarn yesterday because it was busy so I've got two yarns to open Ooh, I'll you heard the crinkling paper and then I also have my day three of stitch by Mrs. D which feels like something knitted <laughs> okay let's start with the yarn so here is five my dandelion and dogwood advent calendar. Oh, look at this. Oh, I want a full skein of that. Look at how fun. It's so gingerbread -y. I bet that's what it is. Let's look. Ginger cookie. Yep, I love that. Look at the speckles and that gingery color on there. Oh, I adore that. Lovely, lovely. And then next we have, this is fun. If I had self-control, I could save it to have two to open all the time. Oh, it's another gingery colored one. This one is Maple Snow Candy. Oh, that reminds me of the Laura Ingalls Wilder books. Did you guys ever read those? Um, they would make candy out of maple syrup with snow they'd pour it on the snow and it would make candy for them love that oh those look really nice together don't they oh so lovely oh and the fuzziness i adore these this is pretty great yay 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 it worked out well to open them on the same day I'm trying not to look at the names of the ones coming up so I don't give myself a clue. Okay, let's open this from Stitched by Mrs. D. Fair Advent. <laughs> it's not knitted. <laughs> it's a pair of undies. <laughs> Some bloomas. Perfect for keeping the drafts out. <laughs> oh, they got a little patch on them. Oh my goodness, that elastic is just hilarious. Well, at least now my little bear won't be bare naked. Okay, let's put your knickers on here. Oh my goodness, I bet it was so much fun to make these things. There we go, darling. You're not Lady Godiva anymore. <laughs> She's got her little pants on. Oh. <laughs> I hope you're not embarrassed. Don't worry. We'll soon get you more clothes. Here, I know. 
You can go in the bag for now, in case that's embarrassing. Here you go. It's better. So today is another busy old day. Meet myself coming and going. Phone's ringing off the hooks. It's just that time of year, guys. So let's see if Alfie will make an appearance. Come here. Nope, he's leaving me. Fine. That's fine. Oh, I'm going to be tired before this week is out. I'm already a little tired. <laughs> Oh, but I am going to let you go for now. Um, tonight, what do I have? I want to do some sewing tonight. So I don't have any other plans. I've got a little bit of leftover pizza. And we've got like some salami and cheese. So we could do like, we could each have a piece of leftover pizza. And do like a charcuterie board. It's for fancy like that. So um, that way I can just devote my time to sewing. I probably will work over just a little bit just to catch up on all my off the phone stuff that I haven't been able to get caught up on because they're offering overtime again this week, which is great with Christmas coming up, Christmas present money. So um, yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Hello and happy Tuesday. <laughs> it is the 7th, I think. Yep. <sighs> so, I am on my morning break, having a nice cup of coffee. It is very cold today, so it's nice to be cozy inside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up my dandelion and dogwood. Advent. Let's see what we got. Alfie, who's that crinkling paper? Ooh, it's pretty. 
pretty. It's mostly blue and white with little bits of yellow speckles, a little bit of pink. Ooh, I love the speckly bits. Let's see, this is by Candlelight. Hmm, that's pretty. I like that a lot. So pretty. Set that there. And then, since today is an odd day, it's actually time to open another Stitch by Mrs. D for my little bear. Let's see what we got here. where she found all these fun brown paper bags. Oh, a skirt perfect for twirling in. The holly goes in the front. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Now people won't see your underoos anymore. Here, let's take your tag off. We know you're number one. Take that off. Put on your little skirt. Alfie's checking out the rest of your stuff because he's nosy. Oh, there. How cute is she? <laughs> Isn't she cute, Alfie? Isn't she cute? <laughs> so um, today is a regular work day. Um, it's a bit busy again. Might work a little overtime. I did start a little early. Might work a little over. We'll see. Um, tonight I have tap class with my sister Kelsey. So we missed a few weeks. So looking forward to that. Um, it's a good time. And then, um, yeah, other than that, that's all I have going today. So I wanted to show you guys these things I just ordered and printed. So uh, it's an Etsy shop called Amy J. Delightful. And she has the cutest printables that she designs. So I have this idea for in the kitchen on each cabinet to have a little picture with like either a different um, Bible verse or line to a Christmas carol or hymn um, in, on each cabinet. I thought that would be fun. And I love her style. So I thought I would print off some of her things. Though they don't have Bible verses on them, I thought I could add them on there but uh, these make a good start of that. So there's a few different designs I got. It's fun. I just printed them on regular paper. Probably would have been better to do card cardstock, but I didn't have any. And some of these already have words on them, so I might use those too. Aren't those fun? And then oops, also these I had got a while back, but this I printed on sticker paper. So I can use those different cutouts as stickers on things. So that's fun. And then I just got this one today, printed that on sticker paper as well. So I can use those on things. I like how these are like baking theme. So that's really fun. That'd be good on like homemade desserts that are gifts. So that's fun stuff. I just thought you might like to see that. So again, that's Amy J. Delightful on Etsy. And you just buy them and then print them, download and print. So it's really handy. So um, probably won't track too long because I do need to, I might clean up the kitchen a little bit. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I did have a mishap with my gingerbread dream sock. I had to rip it back. Alfie's scraping in there on the wall. So weird. Anyway, so I did have a mishap with my gingerbread dream socks. So, um, I had gotten the whole first color chart done and was working on kind of the plain bit. Um, of the leg and I was like mm, I should check and see if these will get over my heel because I had that issue happen before with some color work socks where they had recommended to go up a needle size for the color work portion um, and I didn't I just thought oh, I'll just try and hold it loosely and it was just too tight it wouldn't go over my heel and that was the case with my gingerbread dream socks this time too so they 
were just not going to go up over my heel, so there's no way I could wear them. So I just ripped it all back, and I'm still going to make the same size. Uh, I'm making the small because I like my socks really snug. Um, but when it comes to the color work, I'm going to increase to the medium count of stitches as well as going up a needle size. So I think that will um, solve that problem. So currently I am ready to start the color work again. I've got the, um, I just ripped it completely back because sometimes it's hard for me to get the stitches back on the needles after ripping back some. Um, so I just ripped it all the way back and just started over. And uh, so I'm done with the ribbing again, um, and I just need to start that color work. I have increased to the medium size stitch count, and I just need to switch to one size up needles. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so just wanted to let you know about that little fiasco. But um, I hope you all are well, and I will talk to you again soon. cold today. Getting my fresh air go. Throw quite a sight to behold. Especially this bit. Happy Wednesday. It is the 8th and I have nothing interesting to say <laughs> except look at this epic Christmas sweater. My sister Beth found it for me at a thrift store. Santa has like a feather beard. There's like a sleigh on the background on the back and it's pink on the top and there's bobbles and it's like very mohair. E and it's kind of itchy but I have a t-shirt on under it but it is like the most epic Christmas sweater ever and it's hand knit in England that's pretty amazing too let's see I don't know if you can see that but anyway okay let's open day eight of the dandelion and dogwood yarn advent Ooh, I thought it was going to be blue because it would go with the one I got yesterday. Seems to be the theme. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that lovely? Okay, and this one is... Crunchy Snow. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that's so cute. Snow. Anyway, that is so pretty. Oh, it's so soft. So I think I'm, I've got a meeting in a few minutes here, so I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee to have with that. And tonight, what do I have going? I've got Bible study. I started work early today, so I probably won't work over as much because usually by the end of the day, my brain is fried. So sorry, these are probably like super not interesting just because I'm working overtime and it's been so busy, like I just am wiped out. So, um, yeah, last night we went to tap class, my sister Kelsey and I, it was a lot of fun. We got our pie afterwards, so I think I took a little video of that. Yeah, I know I did. And yeah. I think I need to cast on that sweater so that I can be wearing it this season. It's already the 8th, so it's getting late. Really, I should have made it in the fall, but I didn't think of that then. I like to knit things like at the season that it is, so then you end up not being able to wear it till the next year, but it's okay. 
that's just the way I am. So I know that about myself and that's fine. So I'm going to go make a cup of coffee and I'll probably talk to you a bit later.